Firstly, every single FreshBooks account is associated with a unique login URL. It's usually going to be your company name dot freshbooks dot com. Now I just started a photography business and it's called Fresh Photos. So I'm going to go to freshphotos dot freshbooks dot com and that will take me to my login URL here. The username by default, unless you've changed it, is going to be your email and the password is whatever you set when you first set up the account. If you've forgotten either of these pieces of information, there's a really handy link here. Um, make sure to enter the email you use to sign up for FreshBooks and it will email you all of your login details in about two seconds. Let's log in. So here we go. We have a nice blank FreshBooks account. It doesn't look particularly interesting to me at the moment because it has a FreshBooks logo here. So the first thing I want to do is brand my account. One thing FreshBooks allows you to do is upload your logo. So every single invoice, every single estimate and user experience is nice and branded according to your business. So you can drag and drop or you can browse and upload the logo right in here. Here we go, nice little logo, and now I'm ready to set up my account. The first thing we're going to look at is up in settings. It's in the top right corner in the gray bar. So you'll notice in settings we have a few different um, tabs here, and I'm going to go through all the ones that are the most important for setting up your account. The first tab is company profile. This will include all necessary information that you want to appear in the top left corner of each invoice. So most importantly is company name. You want to choose your base currency. We're located in Canada, so I'm going to choose Canadian dollar and Canada as my country. I'm going to add my address here with my zip code. And you can choose to enter a phone number, but it will not show up on the invoice unless you choose a particular template. We'll look at that later. Let's save our changes. There we go. The next tab I'm going to touch on is this Accept Credit Cards tab. Uh, you do have the option to accept online payments in FreshBooks. And this is where you would connect your payment gateway. We integrate with several payment gateways. PayPal is an example, Stripe is another example, and we even have our own FreshBooks payments account if you're located in North America, which will be an option. If you have any questions about accepting payments online, be sure to give us a call. We'd be happy to go over which payment gateway might be the best choice for you and help you get that set up. If you live somewhere where you're going to need to charge your customers any taxes, you would set that up here in the Taxes tab. In Ontario, we have something called HST, and we charge that at 13%. If you want to have your tax number or ID show up, you would enter it in this field, and then it would show up on every invoice as well. We'll go ahead and save that change. And there it is. Next, we can go to Colors and Logos. This is another place where you can upload your logo. I already have mine here, but if I wanted to change my menu color, this is where I can do that. So maybe I'll make it pink, because I think that looks pretty cool. All right, the template. So in FreshBooks, we do have a little bit of uh, invoice customization, and this is where you can choose the template that you want your invoices to appear as. There's two different types of templates. There's the classic and the clean. If you choose your classic template, uh, this is what it's going to look like. We'll just have a nice preview here. Any tasks, any items is going to be in a nice section with, that has a grayed out column heading. And if you choose the clean template, it's a little more simplistic, as you can see, but very similar. There's a few other options with the clean template that you can choose. You can change the invoice title to something different. You can change the estimate title on the actual estimate itself. If you wanted to call it something like quote, this is where you can change that. You can also change the credit title. 
The payment stub is an option that will only appear if you choose to download a PDF of the invoice. And this is where you can decide whether or not you would like to have the payment stub appear. One thing you'll notice about the classic template is this template does allow you to show your business phone number in the top left corner of the invoice, whereas the clean template does not. So just something to keep in mind there. All right, moving on. I want to skip over permissions. This is something that you're only going to need to uh, take a look at if you're going to be adding staff or if you want to you know, hide any tabs from your clients. You can set your permissions in here. But I want to head straight to the emails tab because this is where things can get really exciting and customized. This is where you can adjust your reply to address. Every email you send out from FreshBooks, your customers can reply to you and you can decide what email address you want that reply message to go to. In addition, you have a list of email templates here. Let's edit the new invoice email template. As you can see in here, uh, with a paid subscription, you'll be able to edit the subject. So if you wanted to remove the sent using FreshBooks branding, you'd be able to do that. In the email body, you can add any sort of customized message you want. I like to have, I have a more personal relationship with my clients, so I'm going to say hi and add an, in, an email variable, which is client first name. So this way it will insert whatever the client first name is of that client. Maybe hi Joe to view your invoice from my company Fresh Photos for the specific payment amount or to download a PDF, click the link below and then it will have the invoice link. So let's go ahead and save that. This is the email signature, so you can also customize what you want to sign off your emails with. Best regards, I'm going to add my name in here, Amanda, just so, again, it's a little bit more personalized. Further down at the bottom of the screen is where you can decide what emails you want FreshBooks to send you. You have the option to receive a weekly account summary that will show you an, a nice summary of all the time you've tracked, any invoices you've sent or payments that have been collected. And if you'd like to get a notification when a payment has been received, a late payment reminder has been sent, or an invoice has been sent, you can choose to do that down here. The last tab in settings is the miscellaneous tab. These are just some random tweak styles and knobs to play around with. You can choose how many lines per page you want displayed. You can decide what date format you want your time entries to appear as. You can also choose to remove FreshBooks branding, although this will remove the ability of you to earn any referrals, so something to keep in mind. And if you're going to be doing any recurring billing, you can choose whether or not you want to have those bills sent automatically or just saved as a draft so you can review them before sending. So definitely worth checking out. All right, there's one other little tab up in the top right I want to review before we end this first video, and that's the My Account tab. So that's in the top right corner next to Settings. Here's where you can overview all of your billing information. You can see I just started my free trial. I still have 30 days remaining, and I can see what limits I have on my account. If I want to upgrade, I can click this green Upgrade Account button, and if I've already upgraded but I want to enter maybe different billing information, this is where I'll be able to do that. There will be another button here in order to update billing information. The administrator tab is very important. The administrator is the owner of the account. There's only one administrator login related to each FreshBooks account. As many people as there needs to be can log into the administrator account, but there is only one. And whoever owns the email here is the owner of the FreshBooks account. So make sure to update this email if the administrator ever changes. You can update the name of the administrator, the billing rate if you're charging for a service that you bill per hour. And if you wanted to change your username or your password uh, to increase security, you can do that here as well. There's a really handy import and export tab as well in the My Account uh, tab. And here's where you can import clients. You can import expenses. You can also export a bunch of information, clients, invoices, staff, and timesheets. Um, most of the time, it's really handy to be able to import and export using a comma-separated file. 
But if you click on this link, you'll see there's a lot more information in here with steps and even a sample that you can download. So you can see how the file needs to be formatted. Lastly, if you're a developer or you have an interest in integrating FreshBooks with a third party, we do have a FreshBooks API tab in here and all the information you need is right in here. So that is pretty much it in terms of overall settings for the account. And in the next video, we're going to learn how to build our client list and then we can start invoicing.